everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a haul video. It's a collective haul um, from some pieces from online and some bits that I picked up in store over kind of the whole of January since my last haul. Uh, my last hauls were more or less mostly December purchases. I just spread them out over the month. So this is kind of all the stuff um, I bought in January. So I've got stuff from Boohoo, Miss Pap, ASOS, TK Maxx, H&M, Primark and Marks and Spencers. So, oh, and um, a couple of beauty bits as well. So, um, I might as well start with the beauty bits. First thing is what I'm wearing today, and it's the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in 04 London. I mentioned this in my favourites video, I really, really love it. It's kind of like this like browny, warm brown colour, and I really, really like it. And I also picked up MAC Stone, which is um, a matte finish, and this is lipstick I've wanted for ages, but it always seems to be out of stock. And it came in stock, um, so I picked it up online. Um, but they didn't have the liner so I'm still waiting to get that but um, yeah I really really like it. I also got a couple of bits from Primark, I didn't get anything too exciting but first thing I got um, is this pig stand and it's like a little um, stand for your phone so it's like a little pig and it has like this suction thing and you can stick it to the back of your phone, it comes off, um, it's just like one of those window sucker things and it makes a little stand for your phone which is really really handy, I've tried it already, it's really really good and it was 150 and I just thought it would be useful for like, because I like watching YouTube videos, especially at the weekend, like when I'm getting ready. I like to watch YouTube videos. Um, so yeah, I really, really like that. I also picked up a shopping bag, fold away shopping bag. This one's got French Bulldogs on and this was a pound, so bargain. Also got a beauty blender dupe thing. These were down to 70p from 150, so I thought I'd pick up another one. And I also got some makeup wipes. I use these when I'm doing my makeup just to get makeup off my hands and stuff. And I buy the ones for sensitive skin and get two packets for a pound. And they're really, really good. I don't actually use them on my face, but I like them. Obviously, I haven't mentioned my hair. It's back to kind of a natural, dark, blondy, browny colour. Um, my silver hair colour faded a bit green and I didn't really like it. So um, I got it dyed back to more or less my natural colour. It's a bit warmer than my natural colour because my hairdresser has put red in it to get rid of the green. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy with it and I think I'm kind of done dyeing, dyeing it now. Um, I just kind of want to grow it out now. So um, yeah, so I have dyed my hair back um, and obviously it's straight. I never normally have my hair straight but my hairdresser straightened it. So yeah, on to uh, TK Maxx. These are from um, about three weeks ago now but um, I'll show you anyway. Um, first thing is a grey jumper from Juicy Couture and it's like a velvet sort of like slouchy sweatshirt top and it's long sleeve and it's really really soft, it's a nice grey colour and this was £15 instead of £115 so it was a bit of a bargain, it was in the clearance. I got it in an extra large, it's kind of just like a slouchy fit and it's really really soft and I just really really like it. I also got a another grey hoodie which I've worn already. I wore it in my last couple of videos actually and it's from Misguided by Voted at TK Maxx and it's a cropped hoodie and then on the sleeves it has this kind of like cut out bit which is kind of like around there so it has like a cut out detailing which is a bit different and I really like it and it's cropped so it's nice to wear like with high waisted stuff or to wear like with a top underneath and it has like a big pocket and I kind of like how the pocket, I don't know how well you're going to be able to see, the pocket is like over the top, it's like the bottom like ribbed bit, so I really like that and it was $5.99 in the sale at TK Maxx. Also from TK Maxx is a pair of shoes, you might have seen these on my blog, I've worn them already, and they are bands and they are these gold bands, um, so they're the classic slip-on style, they are leather and they're like a metallic like sort of cracked leather. These are a size seven and a half and they were down to eight pounds from about 50. I've seen these actually in shoe and places like that. I've just realized they've got like a little plastic thing on that I, I've not taken off, uh, which is slightly embarrassing. But um, yeah, I've seen these in shoe and um, they're about 50 pounds. And um, yeah, I got them for eight, so they were a bit of a bargain two things from Boohoo. Now I've got one item that I bought myself and one item that was sent to me so I'm going to show you them both anyway um, but I'll show you the one that they sent to me first. 
So Boohoo release um, a fitness wear range and they asked did I want to style up a piece from it so they sent me this marble print top and this is actually from the plus size collection so I've got it in a size 16 and it's just quite a loose fitting top and at the bottom it has this kind of like asymmetric um, hemline and then it has a slit at the bottom. I've done a whole pulse featuring this on my blog and I've worn it again since. It's just a really really comfortable t-shirt and I know it's kind of fitness wear but I think it looks nice as a normal top and I just really like the marble print on it and it's £12 if you want to get it but as I said that was sent to me um, to feature on my blog. And the next item I actually bought from Boohoo, I've um, been looking for one of these for quite a while and um, they're really £20 on Boohoo and they're a lot more expensive everywhere else and it's a khaki bomber jacket. Um, this is standard kind of like bomber jacket and then it has the sleeves are like shaped which is a bit weird but it's actually really comfortable when it's on and it has um, zipped pockets in the sleeve it's just kind of like quilted lining with um, dark green quite a lot of them around I've got like an orange lining which is quite nice but I quite like this one's the same it has little um, pressed pockets and it has like the ribbed collar and a ribbed bottom I've worn this again on my blog I really really like it it's such a nice jacket for £20 it's quite warm but it's kind of not too hot so it'd be nice to like go into spring and they also had it in like burgundy and black and navy and yeah I just really think you can't go wrong for 20 pounds so if you want if you're looking for a, a bomber jacket then I'd have a look at boohoo because that's really good so now on to miss pap now I've seen loads of people on Instagram featuring them and loads of bloggers and stuff so I've been kind of following them for a while and, and seen a few things and they're kind of like an affordable um, online retailer kind of like Boohoo, Misguided, places like that and I saw these trainers on there and I really really liked them and everyone kept raving about them on Instagram so I was like I need to get some of these and they are these and they're kind of dupes for the Yeezy trainers I think that's how you say it and um, the ones that Kanye West designed and um, they just look like this so they're kind of weird and then they have this kind of like lace up detailing and at the back they have this kind of like pull on thing now I really really like these and I looked to see if I could get the original ones but they're all sold out everywhere so I thought well I'll try these anyway I'm trying to not spend too much money because I'm trying to save my holiday so I got these they're £20 and they are so comfortable I've worn them already and I really really love these and they do them in other colours and I'm actually thinking about getting the other colours because they're just so comfortable and I just really really like the look of them they're kind of like a trainer but they're kind of like smarter than a trainer because I think they're kind of like I don't know I think it must be the shape of the shoe they don't look as as casual anyway I don't think really really comfortable and very very light as well so if you're the kind of person that doesn't like heavy trainers then these are really good and um, the soles are quite durable as well obviously they don't have massive grips on but they do have a bit of a grip and I got these in an eight um, I'm seven and a half and I tend to find with like cheaper shoes sometimes they need to go up a size um, and I saw on Instagram people were asking like what to do if they were half size and they were, they were all saying to like get the next size up so I got an 8 and they fit me really really well I'm really really pleased with them and as I said I'm already thinking about getting the other colours because I do really like them they come in like the smallest box possible literally when I opened the parcel I thought they sent me the wrong thing because the box is so small um, but I, I suppose that means it's good to store and also from Miss Pap I got this um, dress kind of long top dress thing and it's a stripey one you know I love stripes and it's kind of like it's going to be really hard to show but I do have a blog post coming up with this on and it's kind of like got three quarter sleeves and then the back is a lot longer than the front it's kind of like a short dress with a really long back I just saw it and really really liked it I got it in a medium to large um, which is supposed to be a oh a large sorry and it's supposed to be a 12 to 14 I'm a 14 to 16 and it fits me really really well and this was £15, so it's a real bargain. It's very, very soft fabric. I really, really like this on. And also, um, Miss Pap do 15% student discount, which I can use because I'm doing my master's degree. Um, so I've made it even cheaper. So I really, really like their stuff, and I'll definitely be ordering from them again. On to ASOS. First thing I bought from ASOS, um, if you didn't know, ASOS did like a 20% student discount thing. And um, of course, I had to buy some things. So, um, I ordered a new phone case, this is the Skinny Dip phone case, the iPhone 6 Plus. I haven't actually got this phone yet, um, it's ordered, oh, it's not arrived yet, but I wanted to get a case because um, I don't like not having my phone in a case. 
and there wasn't a lot of choice actually for the 6 plus so I thought I would get this one, it was £12 and obviously I got 20% off and I thought I'll use it and then if I see a good one I can get one but at least I've got a nice case for it. Anyway, um, so yeah, the case I have at the moment is a skinny dip one and I really like it so I just bought another one of those. I also bought some trainers from ASOS, from Nike and I've been looking at getting some kind of uh, Nike trainers that are kind of this style for a while and I was stuck between this one and the Air Max one and I was stuck between like grey and black and white and because I bought those Miss Pat ones I decided to go for the grey and I got these ones. These are the, I've no idea how to pronounce it, I think it's who or H or who are Ratchet or something like that, I don't know. I'm not really a trainer expert but um, I'm sure you guys have seen them or heard of them before and they're kind of the ones that like go in at the back and they have this like elastic thing that says Nike and they're really really nice around the ankle, I really like the fit of these and they're really really comfy and I like how the lacing's a bit different on them uh, but yeah I was stuck between the grey and the black and I decided to go for the grey just because it's a bit different and I thought these would look nicer in summer and yeah I do like my trainers um, as the weather gets warmer I get into wearing trainers again um, I wear a lot of jeans and leggings and stuff so I really like to wear trainers with them and these were £100 which I think is very expensive um, but obviously with the student discount they were down to 80 which is still a lot of money um, but I really like these and I like Nike trainers but if you're on a budget then definitely have a look at Miss Pap because they do have some dupes of these for like £20 which I saw after I'd ordered these and I kind of thought mm, maybe should have just bought the cheaper ones but I'm going to New York this summer and be doing a lot of walking so um, I may use them for that as well but anyway I really really like them and I got them from Mesa. Um, next one's H&M, um, I had a 20% off voucher for there as well so I went in for a few things. First thing I got is this little bag um, and it's just kind of like a little everyday bag. One side is like a plain fake leather and the other side is like a textured and it has this tassel thing and the hardware it's kind of like a, in some lights it looks rose gold and in other lights it looks gold and it's just like a one section simple bag and I don't have very many small bags and I've been wanting to sort of get some more smaller bags because I do carry around quite a lot of big heavy bags all the time so anyway I saw this one it was £14.99 I just really liked it and I thought it looked way more expensive than H&M so I picked it up next I got a white sort of like sweatshirt jumper from H&M and it looks like this it's kind of slightly cropped and it's oversized and it's just long sleeve and it's really really soft I got this in a large and it was £14.99 from the um, divided section this next one is a t-shirt, this was £9.99 again I got it in a large this one is kind of like a loose fit t-shirt so it's just like a white slubby fabric with dark grey sleeves and the sleeves have got like little turn ups at the end I just really like this on and it's a nice like simple basic and it was £9.99 and then obviously I got the discount off it so I got a t-shirt, I've already got this one in stripes I think I've spoken about it before and it's £7.99 and it's just like a, one of those little polo necks um, in a cropped t-shirt with long sleeves. These are just really really flattering and I really like my striped ones so I wanted to get a plain black one as well. Last onto Marks and Spencers and they had like the tail end of their sale, like the final reductions. Um, so I picked up a couple of things from there. The first thing are these and I got these as slippers. I don't know if they're meant to be slippers or actual shoes, I'm not too sure but I got them at slippers and they're just kind of like fake Ugg boots um, but I needed some new slippers and I saw these and I thought they would be nice and um, you could wear them out I suppose but I got them at slippers. I got them in an 8 and these were reduced from 19.50 to 7.99 so I thought I would pick those up and I also got a bag from Marks and Spencers and I just saw this, I wasn't looking for a bag and I just saw it and it's this backpack. And I really really liked um, the style of it and the design and also I don't have kind of a big backpack and sometimes they are really useful especially if you've got a lot of stuff to carry because um, they're kind of like better for your back and shoulders than the bag and it has a little zip pocket here, it's quite big and then it has a catch at the bottom and then it also has a zip which is something I really liked, a lot of backpacks don't have a zip and a fastener and I really like that it did and that it has loads of room inside, obviously there's stuffing's in but it has loads of room inside and then it also has 
a top handle and straps and I just really like this. It's originally $39.50 and it's down to $18.99 in the sale and I just really liked it so I picked it up. So that's everything that I got recently in the month of January and yeah I really hope you enjoyed this video and you liked kind of more of a like a budget haul for me. I do quite a lot of um, designer and high end hauls but as I said I'm trying to save a bit of money at the moment so I am kind of shopping uh, more on the high street than I normally do. But yeah I really like everything I bought and I hope um, you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy it please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!